In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So, number one, uh, you will see that the device in front of me is already locked so I can confirm it either with pattern or well the email address along with the password or phone number. But we're gonna do it without either of those. So starting off the process, you do want to be connected to Wi-Fi which you should see I already am right here. <clears throat> so you want to connect as well and then go back to the first page and from here we will start taking screenshots so to do it you want to press power key and volume down both of those keys at the same time and as this animation then requires access to storage so we're gonna deny it do it once more it will ask again now we're gonna deny and don't ask again do it once more and now we can go into settings so let's go into the settings from here scroll all the way down and go into permissions then tap on the search uh, thing up there and we want to search for chrome so once you write these couple letters you can see chrome tap on it and then you'll have the button to open it from here boom and we're in chrome just accept and continue and no thanks we don't want to log in so let's stop on the search bar right here and we're gonna navigate into a hard reset that info website. Like so, let's go. And from here, tap on the three bars and it will give you a couple other categories. So we want to go into download. Now in the download, tap on the search bar again and we're gonna search for Android 7.1.2 Now I know that the search is kind of outdated considering it's for Android 7.1 uh, and this is Android like 10 but the app still works at least to the point that we can use it at will keep crashing later on but we're gonna get rid of it so don't worry so number one let's stop on the download right here confirm it okay and wait for it to download and once it has you want to open it so open and let's go into settings so we are allowed to install it so check this on go back and now install and once it's finished you just want to tap on done and go back so from here once we're back until again tap in the search bar for the download and this time we're gonna search for settings settings there we go and search and again you want to download scroll down and download whoops one more right here okay and open it up and again install it and this time you want to open it so open and it takes us straight to the Samsung settings. From here, we're gonna scroll down to apps right here. Tap on that and let's tap on the three dots right here and go into show system apps. And now look for Google Play services. So there we go. We have Google Play services and Google Play store. We're gonna start off with the services right here. Uh, tap on it and then at the bottom you have disable disable app and you can see that it's now disabled and go to the play store and again tap on the disabled button right here disable app and go back from here want to go back to the main settings page so right here and we're going to go into accounts and backup tap on accounts tap on add account and there we go so you have the google option now the app that is for the Android 7.1 allows us to basically see this option for Google. So let's just tap on it. And once you tap on continue, it will crash, but it will still do what it needed to do. So close up, okay. And you can see that we can actually log in. So tap on the bar right here and log in with your existing Google account. Now, if you don't have one, you can always create one and then use it to log in. Now I have one, so I don't need to create. So I'm just gonna use that. next 
and I'm gonna put in a password for it. Just give me a moment. Step on next, and there we go. Once you're logged in, you will see this. So welcome. Uh, just step on. I agree. And the app again crashed. It doesn't matter. Uh, it allowed us to log in. Log in. So it's all good. So once you are logged in, we want to go back now to apps and re-enable the apps that we have disabled previously. So let's go back to the show system apps, scroll down to G, and then Google Play Services right here, and then have the turn on, go back, Play Store, turn on, go back. And all you need to do now is just restart the device. So hold the power key, and then I get this pop-up, so turn off right here and restart. Once more to restart it. So once the device is back on, we're gonna go through the setup uh, of the phone itself. And this time around, we'll be able to literally skip the confirmation. It will think that we have added the account that we just added before the restart. And once we're on the home screen, we'll still perform a hard reset to get rid of this uh, bypass app. and. Uh, basically remove the previous account that is still on the device somewhere deep in there. So, there we go. Let's just continue. Next, next, next. Now, at this moment, it doesn't really matter how you set up your device. You just want to go through it as quick as possible. And you'll probably also see a couple more times the uh, that the app has failed or well, stopped working, just continue to tap on uh, close up. And number one, you can see right here, account added. And this is previously the screen that was telling us to uh, verify our account. Now it basically says, oh, there we go, account added. It's uh, the one that we have added right before the restart. So let's tap on next. We don't want to copy, so don't copy. And next again. Next, accept, skip, skip anyway. Just disable this, go down, tap on OK. There we go, it crashed again, so close up, close up, Let's skip this, skip, and finish. And there we go. So we're now on the home screen. And again, it keeps crashing, it doesn't really matter. So pull down the notification panel, go into the settings. And now we want to scroll down to general management right here. And you will have the option to reset. And then factory data reset. And you will get a information basically what it removes. And here it also includes the Google account that we have added previously that allowed us to bypass the verification. It also includes the account that was basically starting the verification right from the get-go. So both of those will be removed and once the reset is finished, we won't need to verify anything. The device will be then fully unlocked basically as you would see when it's brand new. And it also removes the installed apps, which includes the app that keeps crashing right now. So let's just tap on restart, delete all, and the process will begin. So once it's finished, we should be then back in the setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible again.
So as you can see, now the process is finished, so we can go to the setup once more. Let's again, change the language. And first thing you will see is the fact that we can skip Wi-Fi connection, which if the device were still locked, this button would be basically grayed out. So I'm gonna skip it. But like I said before, you can completely set up your device as however you like and connect to everything that you wish and basically set up all the passcodes, anything, and the device should work as intended. So there's nothing blocking you anymore. So just tap on don't copy. Next. Now, I'm basically trying to progress through the setup process as quick as possible, but you can add anything that you wish. And keep in mind also that the app isn't crashing anymore because, well, the app doesn't exist on the device anymore as well. So now the entire device works fully unlocked and ready to be used. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.